Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got China Glaze Ruby Pumps and Black Crackle. <laughs> I've also got Brave Steve on the Black and Bundle Monster BM305 to play with. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2 and China Glaze Ruby Pumps. You know it's an all-time favorite. And Braves Diva on the black. So we're going to get started here in just a moment. I've got this old Bundle Monster Black Crackle number 20. They don't have those anymore, but I've got it, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> I bought the whole collection, girl. I got all the colors. <laughs> it's like 12 of them. And Crackle's like really not in, but I don't care. I, you know, I'm going to use it because I like to look. And the way it looks over this Ruby Pumps just really made me happy. So I'm going in with my first coat of Ruby Pumps. I'm going to cap my free edge. Excuse the skin around my fingernails. I'll let Germex, you know. So there we go. Isn't it gorgeous just even in one coat? I just, y'all, I don't know what it is about this polish, but I've, I've gone through a bunch of it over the years. So, okay, we've got Ruby Pumps laid down, and now we're going to pop in and do my accent nail with Brave Steve on the black. This is a one-coater. Of course, I'm probably going to end up doing two. I don't know. We'll see. Um, you can totally get away with one coat, though. It's just a fantastic black polish. It stamps, water marbles, and it's a one-coater. As you can see, I did my thumb also in black. And we're going to get Woody out here. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Going to help me clean up my mess a little bit. And now I'm going to go with my second coat. I forgot to film it on my ring finger, so I caught it right before I did my pinky that I wasn't filming. So we're going to just go ahead and do our second coat on that one. Stunning. Here we go. We're going to um, do the black crackle over the red nails. And I am making a little bit of a mess, but with crackle polishes, you don't want to overwork it. You just want to, you know, go over it and be done. But, you know, do what you do what you want. You know, play with it if you want to. Got a little bit of a blob, so I'm going to tap at the end with my fingernail. I mean, the end of my fingernail with my finger. Ah, <sighs> what a mess. But... You know, the crackle polish, it'll look different if you apply it differently. Like, like, if you put down a thick layer, I believe it breaks up into bigger chunks. And if you do a thinner layer, you get skinnier, thinner lines. Now, since it's kind of bumpy looking, I'm going to go ahead and use some of the American Classics Jealous. It's a thick top coat that helps fill in all the nooks and crannies. I use it a lot for glitter bombs or anything chunky. But I decided to go ahead and just break it out today and use it over this. And as you can see, it's working out quite well. I'm only putting the Jealous on the nails that have the crackle. I'm not worried about the other nails. They're going to be just fine. But I didn't want these to end up thick and lumpy. And today, I'm going to break out the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. And I'm going to use it as my top coat. And yes, I did decide to just do one coat of the Brave Steva on the black. Like I said, it's a one coater. You can totally, totally do it as a one coater. It's fine. And then I'm also going to put the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls, <laughs> tongue twister, over the other nails. And we're going to get this to dry down. I am going to stamp on the black nails so, you know... Don't, don't think I've totally lost it. Hi, Woody. Back again, I see. Welcome back. So there we go. There's a swatch photo of the polishes on their own. I'll be using BM305. I wanted that little jack-o'-lantern. I've got my monocle stamper and my maniology scraper. And this is a Sally Henson Insta-Dry called Radioactive. It's pretty old. But I do love it for stamping. A lot of the Insta Dries just really do a good job for stamping. So I'm going to pick that image up and I'm going to use this little piece of tape to get the image that I don't want off of the stamper. 
And then we're going to plop this on my ring fingernail. I did the same image on my thumb as well so that they would matchy match. I'm cleaning my plate with pure acetone and the mat underneath it. And then I'm going to top it off with the smudge free top coat from Maniology. So there we go. I'm liking it. I'm going to top everything off with the Pro FX from Quick Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Oh gosh. Y'all, this has been a long day. <laughs> Work's just got me all fuzzy. So here we go. Going to cap the free edge. And I really liked how this one turned out. I was pretty happy with it. Woody back. Look at that. I would like to hear what you think about it. Leave me a comment down below. I always love hearing from you. And that is it for me today. So I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.